The Harambe Starlets are set to take on Zambia in the Olympic qualifiers at Kasarani on the 4th of November, with the return leg being played a week later in Lusaka. The Starlets were supposed to report to camp yesterday, but lack of funds, of course, has forced them to postpone their training camp indefinitely. For players Vivian Corazon and Mona Halima Adam, they are less concerned with the politics behind the scenes and more concerned with football. Mukami Ombora with those details. If there's one thing we cannot doubt, it is the Harambe Starlet's commitment. For years, they have had to go through a number of challenges. In May 2015, as they prepared for the 2016 Olympic qualifiers against Botswana, the training camp accommodation was the Kasarani Stadium changing rooms and their beds were the cold concrete floors. A match they went on to win to advance to the next stage of the qualifiers. But for most of the Starlets, the focus has not been on the allowances. The sacrifices they make are worth it because of their love for the beautiful game. So at was the challenge your Mashida, talent yetu. So sisi si tu napigani yibo yibo Mashida ziko na siwezi kosa kucheza ju tseme yakuna do ala nini. So sisi pia sisi kusema. So sisi ni kuitwa na kufanya kufanya tu kazi. Okay, muto chakubwa ni vinye tu na win. Unajua the more na win. Unakuwa site tab. E, so, alafu tena vya tulipiga gana, morali sayo kwa juu zaidi. E, juu gana unu janti mkubwa. E. The pride of playing for the nation and the support they receive from fans has been a major source of motivation. And in spite of all their problems, the Starlets still believe that they can put on a good performance against Zambia. Dunia lazima chali mziko, lakini mina juwa tuta. Hata toki hitu wa siku mbili, hata siku moja, sisi kama wachezai tutapigania vya tunapigania na utashinda. So far, ligi ko on, so watu wako active, watu wako wajetulia, ligi ko on. Despite kuingi ya camp late, but kuna yo much fitness. Hizo siku kidogo ame utupea, tuta approve wrong, hizo siku kidogo. They have not received all their allowances and mostly play for the love of the game. Sometimes to their own personal detriment. It's a bit challenging, like in tunapambana. Mtoto, hako tu wapa ni machi ya madhe, hako wapa ndo ule adi. Yee, so, ina kwa tricky kidogo. Eh mashida ziko juu kama tuseme tu kama nyumba umerent na takana kulipo umeenda camp umerudi unata bob so wezi lipa inabidi struggle kwa league pia kuna doju atuna sponsor so unaona mashida tunapitia sisi kama wasichana ni mingi sana the situation is unlikely to change at least until Friday when the sports permanent secretary Kirimi Kaberia is back in the country. Unless, of course, the Football Kenya Federation finds funds from somewhere to put the team in camp. Despite the hardships the Harambe Starlets are facing off the pitch, on the pitch, the performance has been impeccable, beating football powerhouse Ghana to advance to the penultimate stage of the Olympic qualifiers. One, however, fears that their dreams to represent Kenya in the Olympics for the first time in history may never be realized. And what's worse, it's by no fault of their own. Mukami Wambora for Citizen TV.